So today the goal is not to fall into a snow drift, but a uh, big special treat out here in the wilderness. Uh, definitely not in Georgia with all this snow, but today we're gonna look at the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21. It's a pack that you guys have recommended to me that I take a look at, and so finally I did. This is a look at the Conceal 21 liter size in multi-cam black, of course. And we're gonna take a look at everything there is in terms of accessories for this bag to make it uh, truly customizable. It's something you might use in everyday carry mode or for trips. So let's take a look at the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21. You all told me that if I was gonna be serious about looking at bags to get you outside, that if I really loved GORUCK bags, that I needed to check out the Brown Buffalo, so I did. This is the Multicam Black, because it's Multicam Black. It has the orange interior, so that's really the color combo that I prefer anyway. So thanks to a member of the Curiology Classified group for hooking me up with this bag, and it's awesome. We're gonna look at the outside features of this, the inside features, and not only am I gonna tell you all about the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack 21 Everyday Carry bag, but I'm going to show you all the accessories that Brown Buffalo makes, so that and we'll kind of put it together to see how it looks. This is the empty Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack 21 in multicam black, very awesome color, very happy with it, the way it feels, looks, and to be honest, the quality is as awesome as everybody said it would be. I have zero complaints, and really, to be honest, uh, this would be a, this is a strong contender to replace any 21 liter GR1 that you have in your inventory. Yep, there, I said it. All right, so let's look at the exterior features of the Conceal Pack 21. Conceal for easy nomenclature. A lot of people just call it the Conceal anyway. So it's the 21 liter size. This is the everyday carry mode. And really, it's, you know, when I'm comparing the GR1 from GORUCK, the 21 liter ends up being my day-to-day -day carry bag, everyday carry. And then the 26 liters is more of a, a travel bag for me. A lot of times it comes down to your torso height. This is just, a, the 21 liter size is, a, is a just a very awesome, everyday carry size for just about anybody, unless you just carry a ton of stuff. And then you're gonna to need to bump yourself up to GR2 size and then a GORUCK line. But anyway, this, and they also make a 33 uh, liter version of this bag, but that's not what this video is about. This is about the 21 liter. So exterior wise, the only, you know, the obvious thing right off the top is that it has a different shape. So this rounded top is very unique to the uh, Buffalo, uh, the Brown Buffalo design. Has a patch, no patch panel on the front and one tall opening, so no slash pocket on the front. So one opening here, we'll talk about inside features as we get through it. Handle on the top, very comfortable sewn in material. Very sewn in fabric compared to other bags. And it's just super, it's sewn over, so it's uh, easy to grab, stands up and just Really nice, really comfy. On the sides, you'll see attachment points. You could put carabiners or lash some things in there, I suppose. Um, so that's a nice little feature. And of course, they're on both sides, all black. Definitely like that. And then as we go to the bottom, nothing to report, no different material, not ballistic material. It's the same that you see on the front. Now the back, also very awesome and very unique to Brown Buffalo. The straps are very thick and padded. They've got this anti-microbial sort of 3D mesh on the inside, so that's really cool. The straps have little rings on here so you could clip stuff to you uh, on the go. No load lifters, um, so pretty simple design. They do include a sternum strap, which is awesome. And it's a little different design than the GORUCK ones. It's got a little bit of an elastic segment in there, so it you know would definitely be more comfortable. It would kind of give and flex on your chest as you carry it. And it's also on a longer stretch of webbing, so you can slide this up and down. And it's that same material that the top is made out of, so it's, it's sort of soft. Adjustability, without having to undo it and put it in different spots like you do on the GORUCK bags, that's kind of cool. I like that and I like the stretch, so those are pretty nice everyday carry modes because really I'm not if you know on the rucker I definitely want it in place and not moving but in everyday carry mode I probably would want a little flex so this is a really cool feature if you ask me. They have these other unique design is well D-rings down at the bottom so you could attach things if you wanted to. And then these are uh, clip you can just remove the clips and get them out of the way. So that's kind of a neat little feature. I suppose in an emergency you could uh, take this off somebody uh, but anyway for us it's gonna allow us to remove the straps entirely out of the shot. 
It's got this nice little uh, strap in the back, which is again, in everyday carry mode or travel mode, you can slip this over your uh, rollerboard luggage. I mean, why do you have rollerboard luggage? No, wheels suck, everything on your back. You could do that, and it's a nice little, uh, it, you know, it kind of breaks it up in the back. Multicam black, very nice. Has this laptop compartment, which is accessible. It just opens up on the side, and then, you know, into the bag we go. Bright orange accents there, very nice. And it's got this, this loop fabric on the inside, so if you wanted to customize or put things that weren't gonna move, you could definitely do that. It goes all the way to the bottom. So no false bottom with this laptop compartment. So that's kind of the, maybe one small negative is that when you were to drop this thing on the ground, if your laptop is in here, it's gonna hit the ground. So no false bottom, but very nice mesh, very comfortable and loop Velcro material inside if you wanted to put anything that was not gonna move. When I get to the accessories, we could talk about maybe you could put one of those in there if you wanted to use this as more of an admin. But more about that later. Wrapping up the outside, really just very nice features and it just all comes together very nice it's got a unique shape but i definitely love it the zippers as we dive in as we transition to the inside you know this is i guess a number 10 zipper so bigger very smooth so not aqua guard but it's going to definitely be a very nice and smooth fitting zipper as we go to the inside on the inside uh, orange so could be a Cariology collaboration for all we know it, but this is definitely orange on the inside. X-Pack is very nice and loop material all in here, which I didn't show you on the inside of this front pocket. It's also a loop material. So a lot of loop fabric in places. More about that as we talk about the customization of this bag. And on the front, you've got two sort of open, you know, with some dimension to it pockets. So you could put other items in there. The most common thing I, sh I see people put in there is a total packed out dot kit mini because it just fits in there perfectly so you can, whatever you have in there, whatever cords for whatever, you know, you just slip it out, use it, and then put it back. So that's, that's one good thing that I would maybe add to that. Zip pocket on the top. So again, in its mesh, you can kind of see what's in there, which is cool. The bright orange would definitely be some contrast. So you can see keys or whatever item uh, was in that mesh pocket, you'd definitely be able to see it against the orange and then that's it so that's really all the features in terms of pockets this bag has now the benefit of the brown buffalo and really from any really any manufacturers that they just, a ton of people make things that you can use to put in there so but i wanted to try out the brown buffalo accessories just to see how awesome they would be let's start off with the laptop sleeve so the laptop sleeve. So this is a pretty simple, again, just it's got the uh, other end of the Velcro there. You could totally take this little laptop uh, lash down point. You could take totally take this thing off if it was gonna be in your way. So it's got the uh, the hook on one side and the loop on the other. And really, we're, this is not gonna fit really anywhere else except this main compartment. So it totally fits this main compartment. So let's just jam that in there. Fits just about perfectly, not exact. You could use it on bigger bags. A little bit extra space up there. So there it is, it fits totally inside. And now you can fit MacBook Pro, iPad, whatever you wanted. You put one in the side and then you could put it uh, another one in here and it would be totally protected. And then again, it would give you that false bottom because you could put this a little bit higher on the back and so that you would have uh, an easy way to carry a second laptop or maybe that's how you would primarily hold your laptop. Little tiny uh, pen holder there would be good for maybe your uh, Apple Pencil or just a regular good old fashioned pen or pencil. And so that's kind of a neat little design. Little orange pull tab on the bottom, nice little touch to, to really yank this thing off if you needed to because that is really jammed in there and that's really good. Let's go with another accessory from Brown Buffalo. This is Mod 2. So Mod 2. And they came up with an orange one I really I'm trying to find. So if you've got an orange one you want to trade me for, I'll definitely hit me up in a, as a comment. But this is another nice little attachment. Again, hook on the bottom, on the back, and no loop on the front, but it's got these mesh little pockets, not mesh, um, sort of elastic uh, pockets. And then it's got this another pen attachment, so you would really have two if you put them in there. Um, the background color on the inside is this green. The, they had some camo ones when they first came out, but this one is green on the inside. So you got this zip pocket, which is really nice. You've got the front little access pockets. And then you've got this, it opens up, and then it's a bigger pocket. So let's put this on the inside. And so there we go. Now we've kind of sandwiched everything in. And so you could put your phone, would fit on this one. 
an iPad mini fit uh, in this size and really honestly the regular size uh, iPad also fits so you can definitely put that in there um, so you don't, wouldn't necessarily need the mini and then your bigger iPad Pro or MacBook Pro could definitely fit in the back or if you didn't go Mac another laptop could fit in the back and so you could really have all your tech totally secured on everyday carry mode so that's just some general basic ways you could use this bag in this mode but wait there's more there's a mod 3 so mod 003 and this is in black this is one of the older editions thanks to another member of Carryology classified it's got the camo on the inside which I really do love and that's it so it's not does uh, it doesn't have as many features it does have a sewn in pocket essentially two sewn in pockets with the hook on the back so it's a little too wide you can see for this mode you could mount it sideways I suppose if that was going to be your jam now but there's two other ways that I would use this one is to mount it completely in this front pocket so just to kind of give you a visual inside this front pocket you take it off you unzip it and then you really like I said there's really nothing else in here but you could mount this against the loop and now you'd have two interior pockets to kind of further secure other items otherwise it's just kind of a big open pocket with that, lo that loop in there so I think this is this is how I'm going to carry this bag I'm going to put this in the front to have so I have two interior pockets one thing I didn't talk about earlier is inside this bag aside from this loop is a key ring attachment so you have that to attach things to if you have keys which I don't typically have keys with me so a nice little hook in there for you to attach things so again I'm gonna probably actually I'm gonna do that here in a second um, after I show you the other way but this is this mod 3 is gonna live in the front to give me access uh, to two secure pockets inside the pocket now the other thing you could do with this mount this on the inside of this rear panel that would sort of live inside like this and now if the rear panel is where you really wanted to keep stuff, you can unzip that and then get into two interior pockets that way. So really, shoot, maybe I need to order another one. So now you have ways to carry this, you know, just more ways to have pockets in different places. I'm going to put this in the front. If I happen to pick up a second one, I'll probably put it in the back just so I have pockets for things inside the back. So there you go. Like I said, I'm going to put this on the front, on the inside, and it's kind of tricky, to be honest, because of this loop the material just wants to stick to everything. So let's do this. Fold it over. Kind of put it in place. And then unfold it. And there it is. So now inside there is my mod 3 with interior pockets still have the key ring and still a little bit more room now in there you could put one of these little keepers to maybe put other small items because you still have a little bit of room there eh, sure why not and so that's how we're going to kind of configure the inside for everyday carry mode now one you know sort of next level addition you could make to this bag this is an admin panel from philip Raybach, and if I mispronounce that, I totally apologize. But this is, again, what I loved about it is it has this uh, multi-cam black, so it matches the outside, has the orange, matches the uh, inside, and so you could use this as your admin panel on the inside. And so there's a nice little touch. Big fan of that, and you could put some of the other items in there. My phone would fit definitely here. It's got a little bit of dimension to it, so like that for sure. And it's got a patch in there so I could put whatever I wanted. Favorite uh, leather patch inside. You name it, who cares? Now it's on the inside. You got everything you could ever want and um, maybe a little quick. And it's got some uh, little webbing built in there. So just that's just a really cool design. To be honest, I may actually use that over this. I'm not really sure. Both great features, both great uh, products. If you watched one of my previous videos where I talked about firearms gear, go bags, that kind of thing, you could totally use this in other books. I mean, again, it is a concealed bag and it was, you know, tested and designed with first responders and veterans in mind. So you could, maybe in one of these pockets, decide to totally deck it out with uh, magazines and your firearm in the bag. Really cool features for how you could use this bag in, a, in a, just a myriad of ways. So that's the Brown Buffalo Conceal Pack 21 Everyday Carry Mode. And again, it's just a 
do whatever you wanted with that Velcro interior, whether it be camera gear or maybe some of those uh, Velcro backed field pockets that you might have. You definitely fit in there or customize with firearms gear or just use an everyday carry mode with all the attachments from the Brown Buffalo or hit Philip up on the internet and see if he can make you something cool for this because I'm sure he will. So there it was, a look at the Brown Buffalo Conceal 21 and a great bag, one of my favorites. Gonna keep this thing around forever, mostly because you can just totally customize it however you want. What an awesome bag. So I'm gonna continue to enjoy this uh, beautiful Washington winter weather, different than Georgia. So I uh, hope you liked this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did, subscribe to the channel. See you next time. And hopefully I don't get swallowed up in a snow drift. See ya. You all told me that if I... You all said that if I was... Yeah, you're gonna not be that. Well then, screw you. You're done to me. So that's really cool uh, features.